Okay guys, uh, here's what I did. So I put the Longerons in and uh, I just ground that joint out. And I'll just kind of explain to you how I did it. Uh, I'm not real worried about the bend that happens up at landing gear. I just let these Longerons, just let them fly. Let them just go right off the table. Don't even worry about that up there. Uh, I, I just kind of like solving one problem at a time. So how I did this was, you know, when we originally did the layout, I put a nail on that center line when we snapped that. Well, about eight or nine inches up, I threw another nail on the center line. That way, when I lay one side in before it's cut, you just go up until it touches that nail. You just set a board there, take your paint marker, draw a line. I, I then take this one, remember this isn't even in here at that point, okay? You can just see the grind. Okay, I'm just, you can only do one at a time, of course, because there's not room. So, once once you have that line drawn, I, I use a disc sander, and I just it's like my favorite tool is a disc sander. Uh, you make sure that line you drew is straight up. Just layer on that disc. I threw the other end on a garbage can 15 feet away, so you, you don't bend your tubing, and just grind her nice and straight. I brought it back in, set it in. Where that grind ended, I just made a mark. That way, I can measure this distance and transfer it to my to my right side of the of the right long run to the other side of the fuselage. So this one I I cut, just set it to the side. I take the next one, I shove it in, and go to the nail. Okay, but instead of putting a board on this side, I flip it. Remember, a nail is about you know a strong sixteenth thick, and you don't want you, you want a, a dead space between the pipe. You don't want metal to metal touching when you weld it. So you go nail to nail on this side, draw a line. Repeat the process. The only difference is I transferred a white mark here because visually as I grind this on a disc sander, I want to make sure that that grind ends here. Because obviously you want the right and the left to be as close as you can. And it worked out great. If I put those down, you can see there's even a nice even gap in there. It really worked out good. And from the end, you can see, right, it's half and half. See, that's, that's how I approached it. I'm not sure what others do, but it uh, seems to work for me.